so good morning everybody uh, since it's Saturday I'm taking the time to uh, share with you some videos <laughs> so uh, in this one uh, it's related to finding finding the square root of a polynomial as presented in the book algebra for the practical man for the practical man third edition written by this guy Thompson and it's quite an oldie, look at this, almost 100 years ago. So let us look for that um, topic. Where is it? Um, okay, here it is. Uh, these are the steps presented in the book. I wanted to do a video just in case someone is following uh, these exercises. Um, or, you know, uh, have someone, hopefully someone finds it useful. So I'm going to uh, present uh, this example again, as it is already here, but I'm doing it uh, in this video and also try to solve this one. I already solved all of this, but I'm going to do this once more. Okay. Um, so the square a square I will I put this link from the web archive into the video description a square plus times <clears throat> the first thing you need to do is to arrange uh, the polynomial in relation to one of the letters or variable. Uh, in this case, they have chosen uh, A. Now, uh, you need uh, to find the square root of this first term. For this video, you need to know how to divide polynomials, multiply polynomials, and the basics of the square root, you know, the very basics. Uh, so, finding the square root of this term is uh, a. Then the next step is to square this term that you have found, this square root, and subtract it from the polynomial. Where is the okay here it is <laughs> so the now the next step is to double this uh, term that you have found here three no double square double is different is different to a and divide at this first term into this so 2ab this one to 2a is it equals to b because 2a times b is 2ab and you write it over here and here Now you multiply this for all of this the new one, only this for all of this, and you get two a b two a b b square b times b. Yes, well, you can write it down over here, down below here, or over here. It's up to you. Look at this. Beautiful. Right. Now we need to proceed as before and get rid of this <laughs> and double this 
to divide that by means of multiplying by 2. So that would be. Now, well, let's use another color, uh, this one. You will be tempted to repeat the process and say, now I'm going to divide this into these two. But you will find out that you need, in fact, these two, these two terms, because now you have two terms over here. Just writing letters, performing basic calculations. Don't need, you don't need to be afraid of all of this. And in here it will be C. Because C times 2A is 2AC. C times 2B is 2BC. AC. Sorry, see, and we put it down over here. And now we can multiply this term for all of these. Perform the multiplication to A times C. C times to B and C times C is C squared. Okay, and you got you have your square root. You find the square root of this polynomial. This is the one you're looking for. A plus B plus C. Now let's do the other. You need to pause the video if you're to do it. I'm going to do the 11 so you can enjoy uh, the number 12. It's a, uh, don't be afraid of the kind of the number of letters and numbers. Yeah, find the square root of this, which is, so we will need more space. Work square. Now you square this number, this term. And subtract it. Yeah, boy. I'm going to. There will be an addition of this video because I need to take care of something in here. There will be a good. We will retake it. And we're back. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, I assist. Uh, I help with some uh, chores over here. Uh, where were we? <laughs> so we have uh, minus twelve x to the cube, and we have uh, the rest of the term. What can what's the next step? We need to double on this term. Hopefully, you uh, you didn't lose uh, the track of the process. Okay. So four x square. It's like doing this. Okay, now you need to divide uh, this one, this term, only one, into this. Uh, 
and it goes like minus 3x minus 3x times 4x square is minus 12x to the cube so you take note of your new fellow over here we're going to delete this you write the term in uh, in here in the final square root and also in your trial divisor divisor and you multiply uh, only the last one this you know so it goes like minus 12 look at this minus 3x times 4x squared minus 12 x to the cube minus 3x times minus 3x is plus 9 x squared and you subtract in 29 uh, minus 9 is 20 we can do that we can do that x square okay now we can uh, forget about this and double uh, this thing which is four uh, x square minus three x six x now you might want to be tempted if you follow the procedure in the book uh, to <laughs> divide uh, this term in these two these two but the fact is that you need uh, the, these two terms so if you divide where well, I can find a space x squared minus 30x divided by this you now think that I am moving this to this place you will find that your the number you're looking for is five because five times four x square is twenty x square and five minus six x is minus thirty x. Okay, so it's five. You write down the five over here and you write it over here. And you multiply all of these just like we did in this step with the last term the recently added so 5 times 4 x squared is 20 5 times minus 6 x is minus 30 x times times <laughs> 5 times 5 you know this when you subtract and you find that you are done so this is the one you're looking for this is your square root of the entire thing over here so great and sorry for the interruption and the video has been edited so you don't wait uh, like the whole time and what else yeah you're done you are left uh, to solve this if you want to uh, take good care of, of arranging the the polynomial in descending order by one of the letters i have chosen a for example and you will be okay
summarizing uh, find the square root of only of the first term you got this and a square root uh, take this uh, term that you find that you found and square it and then subtract it subtract uh, this square from the polynomial you are left with this your brain left with this Okay, then you double uh, this term, which was over here, 4, and divide uh, the first term of the reminder with this, and you are get you you get a minus 3x, and you write minus 3x, minus 3x. Okay. Then you multiply uh, the last found, the last term found, minus 3x, with all, with all of this expression, to get this one, and subtract uh, from the polynomial. In this step, uh, you may be tempted to try to divide only this, but you, are, in fact, will need this too. To end with this uh, result, this is your square root. Hopefully, it was clear, and hopefully, even better, is uh, helpful, uh, useful for someone in the world trying to make its way. And there is, at this point of time, I guess, zillions of resources on mathematics. So thank you very much, and. Happy weekend. Uh, be confident. That's the, that's that's crucial in, in any given problem or skill that you that you are trying to cultivate. Baby steps at the beginning. Thank you very much. And bye.